Hey guys, hi, what's up and welcome back to another vlog. I am Priya and this is the one and only Sid. Today's vlog is going to be quite exciting. I hope you guys will enjoy it. So basically what today we're going to do is that we're going to play a small game in which we will actually write down answers to the questions that so many of you have been asking us in this video you guys will get to know us i have like a bunch of questions over here like around 15 questions that i've shortlisted amongst all these questions that i've been bombarded with uh, we're gonna do it in a fun way basically what's gonna happen is that i'm gonna ask a question i'm gonna write down her answer and she's gonna write down mine we're gonna guess yeah. each other's <clears throat> answer okay so for example let's say the question is which school did i study in so he's gonna write which school did i study in i'm gonna write which school did he study in so in this way basically you guys will get to know us and simultaneously it's actually a test for us to also realize how much we know each other which i believe i'm gonna score like 100 points and let's play the game super excited Quickly, I just want to plug in, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Also hit the bell icon to get notified every time I make new vlogs because I am super interesting and super fun. Let's get on with today's vlog. Let's find out who's the winner of this game. So the first question is, where is my birthplace? Reveal your answer. So my birthplace is what? Orissa <laughs> in Bhubaneswar. Okay, that's that's the right answer. Ten um, points. Ten points. Bhubaneswar spelling is wrong, guys. Legit. But anyway, <laughs> Bhubaneswar is the right answer. And uh, your birthplace is in Nepal. Nepal is a country. You have to be specific. Which part of Nepal is it from? But anyway, I guess it's right. It's Nepal. Nepal is a country. Birthplace. It's a place, not a country. Actually, cannot remember, but maybe it's Dharan somewhere in Nepal. No. Anyways, forget it. What's your date of birth? Easy peasy. Let's see if you can guess. Okay. Second question is. So, date of birth is 13th May 1987. And what did you write? 17 January 1992. Baby girl, which is a Capricorn. And you're a Taurus. I'm a Taurus. Hashtag Earth Signs. And At I least do. he remembers my date of birth. So happy days. The next question is, which school did I study in? <laughs> what? <laughs> write down my school name, and you have to write down all my four schools' name. Okay, guess what? Just write one. <laughs> No, you have to write the last where we did our main schooling from. Like properly studied. Did you even study properly? No, only you did. <laughs> oh dear. It looks like someone is losing the game. Okay, are you ready? Hopefully. You studied in North Point Darjeeling, right? Yes. Okay, and where did I study? Show me. Pink Floyd, Pink Floyd, double L, Y, O, D. Which school is this? What the hell? Which school is this? Loy Loy. <laughs> Guys, I don't know. Oh it. my god. I forgot, I forgot. Okay, so which school did you study? It was Loyola School. Okay, Loyola. I wanted to write Loyola. It's, it's Loyola School. <laughs> Move next. Anyways, L, Loy Loy. The next question is How much did you score in your board exams? Ooh. Okay, are you ready? 62 And you scored 50% No! Wow! <laughs> Do you think I'm so dumb? Scored 74 Are you kidding me? Yes. You scored 70, yes. 74? Yeah In your board exam? Yeah But you failed in maths and all, right? No! I scored 74, guys, 74 So he has scored like 74, that's what he claims And my score is here Let's get on with the next question. Okay, how many siblings do you have? Okay, ready? Should be easy. My answer is he has one brother, younger brother, and his name is Sukant. Am I right? Yep, he has one younger sister, and her name is Miss Pretty. Next question um, How long have you been in aviation? 
so let's show answers okay. mine is you've been for 10 years i believe yes okay and he's been for 13 years the boss 13 <laughs> years you know guys when i was when i started flying she was in school well, what anyway. grade were you at that time 2007 i was in standard nine <laughs> basically when i started flying she was in standard nine wow wow so let's Get on with our next question. What was your first job? Ready? Okay, ready. So your first job was a cabin crew here in Etihad. That's correct. That's my first job. I have only worked as a cabin crew in Etihad so far. And for her, she was working in the Maruti Suzuki showroom. Like something promoting the sales, I believe. It was only a couple of months, I believe, right? I was in my 11th grade and I wanted to earn some extra pocket money. At that age, obviously, nobody's gonna give me a full-time job. So yeah, back home in India, I started working, like doing a part-time job to get some extra cash. I used to be paid like about 4,000 rupees. So who's winning now? Uh, I believe I'm, so far I'm still winning. I don't think so. Okay, so the next question is, which is your first airline to work in? Definitely gonna know my Sir. Yeah, actually, I don't need to even write it down. His first airline is Etihad. For you, it was Indigo. I was planning to join Kingfisher, but unfortunately, because of the situation, the airline was like shutting down. So I chose Indigo, and yeah, that's my first airline. The next question is What was your first layover destination in Etihad? So, okay, so your first destination, I believe. Sydney? Sydney? No, no, no. Where was it? Paris. First layover destination was to Paris and I was very excited about the Eiffel Tower. The layover destination was Munich. It's not Munich. No? <laughs> no. It's because I saw your picture on Munich. But that was later. Okay. Oh my god. So basically so my, <laughs> my first layover destination was also Paris. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, oh my god. Okay, this is wow. embarrassing. I think we are meant to be together, you know. We basically had the same layover destination. Our first layover destination in Etihad for both of us was Paris and we didn't even guess it right. But did you go and see the Eiffel Tower? Yes, I did. Did you? Yes, I paid 50 euros for the cab. That's the city of love and we hope to visit one more time. This time we should go together. The next question, our first vacation together. I don't think he even remembers. But anyway, okay, let's reveal. Yes. It's Show me. Goa in India. Oh yes! It's Goa in India! Oh! You I remember? remember? Basically it was my birthday. We couldn't decide any other place, so we just decided to go to Goa and have a party there. At what age did we start flying? So he started flying at the age of 21. He was hired here at the age of 20. For international carrier you have to be minimum 21 years of age. I was 20 years old when I came to UAE and when I became 21, after I finished my training, I started flying. And for you, I believe in India, it's 18 years of age. Yeah. So, so yes, yeah, of course. 18 is the right answer. I started flying at the age of 18. So yeah, let's move on to the next question. Where did we meet each other for the first time? So what did you write? At the airport. So basically, we met at the airport, the crew briefing center at the airport. What is your answer? Yes, in the briefing room going to Toronto. So we are going for to, to Toronto. Yeah, we were flying to Toronto together. I'm sure you guys will enjoy that story, how we met and what exactly happened. We will share that in a different vlog. So let's move on to the next question. Which car would you like to buy in the next five years in India? I'll just guess what car he'd like to buy. I don't know, but let's see. <laughs> okay, let's guess. So the car that he'd like to buy is... I wrote Range Rover. Oh! <laughs> I wrote Kia Seltos. <laughs> you think I want to buy Kia Seltos? I saw him doing some research no, on that, this car. Uh, that, I'm thinking to buy that car maybe within a couple of months, end of this year. Yeah, so the question was like, which car would you like to buy in the next couple of years? Well, no, you said, you said five years. Okay, five years. So in five years, of course, I'll be more stable. I'll be doing much more better, I believe. So Kia Seltos is not the answer. No. Because I saw him doing a doing some search yesterday. I was doing a search in Kia Seltos and uh, Hyundai Creta. Oh, don't be so upset. So which car would you like to buy? In five years, if I am stable enough, guys, 
Maybe a Range Rover will be a perfect car for me. Oh! Inside. Yeah. Or a Mercedes. This thing. man has some money. But for now, yeah, I don't mind Kia Seltos or the Hyundai Creta. In five years' time, if I'm doing good, we both are doing good and we are earning well, we are well settled, why not? And your five years car was Range Rover too? Oh yes, my dream car has always been a Range Rover. It's been like the ultimate car for me. For the next question, it's the second last question. Um, what am I crazy about? Like in terms of accessories. So you are crazy about watches? Yes, I love watches, yeah. But my collection is not that great so far. But he has some really expensive watches to be honest you can talk about the one that i gifted you the last time i gifted him a watch was for his birthday like a couple of years ago that watch costed me a bomb it was like three and a half lakhs indian rupees i gifted that to him with my own hard-earned money and hopefully in the future i shall gift you more what's mine darling uh handbags Oh, I love handbags. I yeah, love. She has a lot of collection of bags. Yeah, it's not that. a lot actually. Honestly speaking, one day I'll show you guys my collection of handbags. It's not too many. I just have like couple of them, like maybe six or seven. What six or seven? But yeah. Yeah, it's more than ten. I don't buy a lot of bags, but I buy one that I like from a certain brand. I like the classic ones. This is the last question. Uh, how long have we been together? And the exact date that we met. So we have to write the exact date. We are ready. Let's reveal our answers. We met in 2014. Yeah, that's right. 2014. And we've been dating for six years plus. What is six years plus? 2014. Which date? <laughs> Dude, the exact date. Oh my God, he doesn't. <laughs> you don't. You don't remember the exact date. The flight which you did. I don't care about the dating. flight. <laughs> yes, the, no, the, the date when we met. No, guys, I'm so sorry. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so, anyway, guys, we met on 24th April 2014. It's been exactly six years and three months that we are dating. Guys, I'm gonna remember this from now. Yeah, so next time if you want to ask me 24 April 2014 We answered all the questions I hope you guys got an insight and got to know us a little bit more Do comment on the section below and ask us more questions if you have any If you want to know anything in specific about us You guys know very well that we read all of your comments And keep supporting us, keep loving us well, For me guys, I would only like to say Thank you very much for all your support you have given towards Priya Take care, God bless and we, we love, love you, you.